Hey guys, and welcome back to a house update video. There's a little bit of a different intro. Mm. Main reason is, we don't feel like this video justifies the name House Renovation Series episode blah 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 whatever the episode would have been because no renovation actually happens within this video. There's no hammers, there's no destruction, there's no breaking things, there's no building things, there's no renovating happening in today's video. So we don't feel like it justifies the name Renovation Series update episode whatever. But we thought <laughs> we'd pull the camera out anyway and give you a little update on what we've been up to. So yes, we know that we haven't actually been uploading very many videos on this channel lately. It just seems to have been a little while since we've actually picked up the camera and filmed kind of content because the last video we actually showed you our finished kitchen. We showcased it off and it was, I don't know, quite a big moment for both me and Holly to get to the point where we can actually show you our kitchen. And because that kitchen has been done, it's the first time in like, two and a half years ever since getting this house that we've actually been able to live in this house or actually the house to feel like an actual home. So that's kind of one of the main reasons why we haven't really been picking up the camera and filming much because we've got to the point where it's kind of done. Well, not done. I mean, the house is probably like 75% done. As you all know, the old kitchen, the original kitchen is still a long way off from being actually done. You see, this room is an absolute monstrosity. I mean, look at it. You can't even walk in this room. I basically close my eyes. This room doesn't exist to me. It will get tackled, but not anytime soon. Maybe, well, yes, definitely after Christmas, we will come in here and properly sort this room out. So yes, today's video is going to be a slight different video than our normal house renovation DIY type video because, like I said, we haven't actually been picking the camera up and filming any house or DIY stuff ever since we've done the kitchen. But we haven't actually just been sat around with our feet up drinking cups of tea. That would have been lovely, but we've been very busy doing lots of other things in our lives. So for those of you who don't know, my actual job is a filmmaker or a videographer. I basically create content for people, clients, corporate companies, whoever wants video content, I go out, I film it, I edit it, I create it for those people. The last year and a half, has been a little bit tricky. Obviously, we've been living through a global pandemic, so my actual work slowed down quite a lot because of regulations and lockdowns and stuff. I couldn't just go out and film that content. So I could spend a lot of my time dedicated to the actual house and renovating this house and creating these YouTube videos, these renovation house YouTube videos. And lately, especially over the last sort of three, four or five months, my work has definitely got a lot busier, which has been really, really good but also that's kind of meant another reason why these videos have slowed down just a little bit because I've not been able to dedicate as much time to these kind of videos and the house renovation videos because I've been dedicating more time to my actual day job and filming people's content. And one person's content who I've been helping out and filming is another fellow YouTuber, and that is Tom the Tech Chap. And I've now been working with Tom maybe one or two days a week over the last sort of three months, helping him film and edit his content. So for the observant people and the people wondering why do I always wear a hat within these videos which says Pulse Rally. I basically create a lot of content for the Pulse Rally and they are a supercar rally. It's super cool, super awesome and they actually asked me to fly to Scotland in August and film the latest supercar rally in and around the highlands of Scotland which was utterly incredible and again this is why I wanted to kind of talk about or update you guys within this video of other things that that I actually get up to so those videos which I filmed and edited in the highlands of Scotland of luxury supercars in these incredible locations those videos are now finally live on their Pulse Rally's YouTube channel so it would mean the absolute world to me if you could go over to their channel check out the videos and let them know what you think of the videos in the comment section down in the comment section of those videos over on their channel. Trying to keep up. Oh, he's trying to keep up. So that's enough of James talking about his work. Let's get back to the house. So we've had a little bit of a change around in here. We have moved the chair, the lamp, and the mirror over to the Hong Kong picture. I'm pretty sure, Holly. Yes. That the chair 
originally was there when we first moved furniture into this room. I think this was the first place the chair went, you're right. We've just moved it all the way around the room, back to here. I think, yeah, it's been in every corner of the room, but we like it where it is now. It's lovely. It looks lovely for now. I'm sure it will change soon enough. The sofa that we weren't keeping, we are now, I think, keeping, but who knows? It looks good for now. And we have also moved the shelves over to this side. For those of you who can remember, when we first built this extension, we had ideas that we didn't really want a TV down here. And we had an idea for this wall, which was to get a projector. We plan on getting a projector to be able to project onto this wall. So this is our early Christmas present to ourselves. It is the Anchor Nebula Cosmos Max. It is a 4K HDR projector and it projects blooming massive. Our wall is not big enough. We should have built a bigger extension. So yes, this projector can go absolutely massive. It can get up to 150 inches big, which is ridiculous. And this room isn't even big enough for that. So we've got it set to about 100 inches. So that basically basically means it's like strapping four 50 inch TVs together, which is honestly so big. And this projector is completely smart as well with all of the apps built in like YouTube and Netflix and Prime Video and Disney Plus, all of them are built into the actual device. It also has speakers built into it, which sound remarkably good. And it's also got HDMI input so we can play our Xbox and our PlayStation on it as well, which just looks awesome. So the projector isn't the only early Christmas present that we bought ourselves. <laughs> we bought ourselves a robot vacuum who can also mop. So this is the Ecovax T8 Pure and here is the virtual map of the downstairs. It worked all this out itself. We didn't have to tell it anything. So we have added these areas in red, which are areas we would like it to avoid. And if you look closely, you can actually see it cleaning in real time. So, like Holly just said, both of these, the projector and the... Oh, it's not even there. I thought it was going to be in the background then. The, the robot Hoover were both presents we actually bought for ourselves. So before anyone comments and said like, is this a sponsor, is this an ad or anything? They're not. We spent our hard earned money on both of these. There he is in the background. <laughs> we spent our hard earned money on both of these. And we are wondering, would you want to see a full review of both the projector and that robot Hoover on our review channel, our second channel? If you do want to see a full review, let us know in the comment section down below that you want to see reviews on both of those. And um, you might have noticed that we have had a little change. Christmas jumpers are out. It's December. I think it's time to put the Christmas decorations up. <laughs> Okay, so this tree is obviously a fake tree. We bought it a few years ago for when we moved in the house and it has taken us three years, or well, this is our third Christmas, which I can't quite believe. This is our third Christmas is being in this house. Oh, it is? Yeah. Oh my God. Which is quite unbelievable because we've had the house for over two and a half years. I don't know, I'm getting kind of confused with days and stuff. But anyway, this is obviously a fake tree and is slightly bigger than what we realized it actually was. We were thinking of having the tree in front of the bifold doors, but we've um, obviously got the projector, which projects across onto this wall. And I'm thinking that if we put the tree in front of the door, we're only gonna get half a picture. We're gonna get half of the projector because it's gonna be covered up. Um, we might have to have a little bit of a rearrange. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna probably say no. We won't be able to see anything. I think this is coming out way too far. And yeah, that projector is now gonna be completely- I'm okay with it being in the middle of the room. Don't get me wrong, but um, kind of defeats the object of having a projector, really. You know, the only other thing what we can really do- Middle? Right in the middle. Okay, the okay. Another thing that we can do is the chair is gonna have to move, Holly. The tree can go in the corner. The chair can maybe go over here. Maybe we just move the sofa and the chair and the tree. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Okay, 
Okay, so obviously we have now had to rearrange basically the whole room to fit the tree in. So the beginning section of the video where Holly talks about uh, we've had a little rearrange and the chair has now moved. The chair has now moved again for about the 15th time to fit the tree in. But as you can see, the tree now fits in there. The mirror has to stay there because the mirror literally cannot go anywhere else. No. The sofa is now in front of the bifold doors, um, all because the projector <laughs> has to project on this wall and is the only place the tree can go. But the tree does look a little bit bare. We now need to basically cover it in some awesome decorations. <laughs> There is our very small little house update video. We know this is a slightly different video than our normal DIY house build type videos, but we really wanted to bring you guys along, give you a little bit of a behind the scenes and a little bit of a, an update and just let you guys know what we've been up to and kind of bring you guys along on our first proper Christmas in our house because Holly, can you believe it? It's been a long time coming. It has been a long time coming and I didn't ever think this day would get here when we have our own kitchen and our own lounge and we get to finally put the Christmas tree up that it feels like we bought years and years and years it's, ago. It's been quite some time. Like I said, it's been almost well, two and a half years. This is mm -hmm. will be our third Christmas in here and it's so nice to now be able to kind of enjoy the house yes. for it to be an actual house and not have to kind of be covered in mess and dirt and dust and be building all over Christmas. So thank you guys so much for following our journey, our adventure of doing this house renovation and stuff. It means the absolute world to us that you follow us, you watch, you comment, you like, and you just basically follow mine and Holly's random adventure of doing this house. So thank you so much for all of your amazing support. And, and um, I think all that's left to say is one, one more thing. Oh, Holly beat me to it. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas.